It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Holy shit, it's Santa Claus. Where the fuck's the reindeers? What the fuck? traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a uh... significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did you- Wait! We did- Oh, shit!
damn, he had a good moustache as well. Fuck! Oh, get in there, no full damage in the game, that's what I like to know. Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Okay. Ah, oh, looks good. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. Uh, but that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Port key? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, I've heard about these. Yeah. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. Right. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? I do believe that I am. One foul specimen! Okay, I'll try to make him look like me as much as I possibly could, but uh, he is slightly disappointed. Shit! Uh, well, fucking hell, uh, Hogwarts is looking a bit fucking. How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. You the port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path However faded it may be. Uh, well, I don't think we have a choice, do we? Hello, guys. Mind How are you? Yeah, I, I know. Can I jump? Oh, get in there. I got like this, like half an inch jump. Ooh, It'd be cool if there's like a magic ability that makes like jump higher or run up walls and shit like that. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. What the fuck? Can I find, like, actual walls? Oh, for fucking... Like, one chart inside the fire. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. I'm just very weird. I need it in a second. But, um, yeah, no, I was going to say, so, yeah, welcome, guys. As you can tell, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's already in the bloody title. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Now, here's a funny story. I've never really been that Hogwarts forced. Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where she came into possession Excuse of the me. Key, But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, that's the path down below. This way. Oh, oh, wow. It's not like I have fucking eyes. I mean, I got a broom on. I just jumped down. Can we just... We're, we're wizards. But uh, as I was saying, yeah, well... But, but sir, no, why was your oh. wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. 
But magic is no different than one. any power. One what really mine. matters is the one, one who wields it. Me! Uh, do I, how do I put the wand away? <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, is that ice? It's not cold enough here. Oh, there we go. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Why don't we just... Focus on the center. Do I really have to... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Excellent. Look at that. As I was saying. Okay, so... Uh... Oh, 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 shit, oh, shit. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh. Uh, you probably would. Which house am I going to choose? Well, it isn't going to be Ravenclaw. I was going to. But we shall see, and you shall see. Ah, up there. Okay, can I, like... Charge a job. Oh, I love it. Okay. That's some climb. It's like the most panicked climb. We're close now. It's just ahead. Okay. I mean, wow. Skunk. Steady yourself. It's only a bit of wind. Calm Repair down. Wait a fucking second, you could have done that from the beginning. You, you just, you, you, oh, no. Is that a run button? Almost there. Someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Uh, I would probably say the fucking whole place is a bit out of place. Okay, now where do I need to go? Climb. Do I do I climb up? Uh, okay, no. Okay, uh, Professor. It's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. What is this that they want us to do? Where are we going again? Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Okay. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Wait, what the hell? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Um. Godric's heart. Where it, are we? Okay. I don't believe it. in a different location. Excuse me, fine sir. Are thou able to help? Hello? It can't 
be? Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. Gringotts Wizarding Bank. It's Droppy! What's his name? Vault number 12, I presume. Uh... <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? The wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Okay. Let's go. Stay close. Wow. Oh, wow. After you. Boy, thank you. This is a long Keep intro. your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> hey, you've got seatbelts. Safety first. Oh wow! How oh! Many are there? Oh! Hundreds. Oh! Fuck! In fact, you'll see quite wow. a few on our way to Vault Number Twelve. Okay. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. This, the vault you see this is crazy. A private entrances to oh, the wow. bank common Imagine at Gringotts. The they are most the uncommon. So cool. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Okay. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Right then, that was fun. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Uh, okay. Yes, I got Bye. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I wonder why. He probably fucking eats them. Here we are. Right. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh. Okay. Open to the giant monster of a dragon. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Well, looks like we have another doorway. Why, well, thank you kindly, sir. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Uh... <laughs> oh, for fuck! That was certainly unexpected. You think? Let me think. 
There must be something here. Um... Mm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, wow. Wait, what the hell? Nah, what the fuck is that? What's with the Illuminati eyeball? Shit, 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 shit. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. No well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Really? Oh, I, I never would have thought that. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Right. I'll stay next to you then. I don't know how this is going to go, but this is going to be interesting. So as I was going to say from the beginning, this guy would not stop speaking. Was that, believe it or not, I've never... I see something oh, for fuck's sake! What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. It's a blue light. Oh, shit. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Wait a second. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. Hmm. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, blue mars. No more. There we go. Right, yeah, okay, I get it. I have learned an a new ability. Hold and press Y. Okay. Lumos. Well done. Lumos. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. That's a big boy. Damn boy. Um wait. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Look out! Potato! Accio! Accio! Let me also depose! Let's go, 
Let's go, bitch! Oh! Oh, great heavens! Fuck you! Fuck you, Ow! Holy shit! Uh, okay. Oh fuck it out! What the hell? Uh, oh shit! Oh fuck! Uh, drink. Oh shit! Okay. Hello. Lumos. Uh, Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. This... Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? I will the not follow. Of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Okay. I'm coming! I think I need more health potions at this rate. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Oh no! Um. Okay. Lumos. Oh yeah. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. I guess. I get to learn. Lumos. Oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Um. So, can we uh, talk about this? Is that a possibility? Okay. Oh shit. All right then. Akio! Bum! Oh jeez! That did not work. Oh, now I can run. Oh, wow. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh, I can jump on it. Good on that. Potatoes! Oh, fine. Please let me out. Oh, I wonder if I'll, I wonder if I'll get a detention for being late for school. Okay. What is this? 
this. Oh shit, no wait, wrong button. <laughs> this game is really unique actually, I'm not going to lie. As I was going to say, I actually never was that fussed about Harry Potter growing up. I mean, I think it's interesting, but I never really watched them. Uh, there you are. How did you... I can't... What oh, man. is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. Oh, like what? Um, forgot, forgot, forgot. I wonder. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh. I was right. Oh. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have uh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he's fucked now. Jeep, you little shit! So 
so he just stands there. Why are you standing there for? Like, what was the point? Just standing there for no reason. Okay. Are you all right? Fine, sir. Yeah. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? Um, in the woods. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I mean... Do I get to... Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, yay. So I heard that this game is based a hundred years before Harry Potter and a couple of years before Gandalf it was, so Gandalf. So this is gonna be an interesting game. This is something to do I have no idea how long I've been recording for, but I'm enjoying this. That was a really long inch. I'm not gonna lie, that was uh, that must have been at least about half an hour to nearly 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. How the fuck did I'm we not no miss it? Expert, but that seems more appropriate right. now i need to study this locket as soon as i can but first i must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to george and be warned of ranrock for the moment i ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me of course sir thank you of course. ready for the sorting ceremony let's go Harry Potter! I'm <laughs> oh dear. I guess I'm the last. Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig! Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. Um... If you're lucky, what? we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. It's a bit empty for a stool. Stool school. Potter. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay. Let me see what this will become. What will I? <laughs> ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. 
Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Oh. Loyalty. A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes, baby! Green, green! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? Oh, Enough. God. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Oh. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? Weasley! I shall see to it, sir. Wait a second, is she... As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Well, thank you. Um... It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Okay. Very well. Aspiration. Aspiration. That's a big ass snake. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back oh. in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're you welcome. Know. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Uh. Oh, now that's nice. Damn. That's a beautiful sight. Right. No, no, no. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. It's fine. I don't need friends. Revelio. <laughs> Reveal any secrets, please. So, who is it that I'll speak to? It's a little bit, um, <laughs> I think it might be because I have left. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. 
I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figg's who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Figg are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. I, I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, you can wait. I am busy. I am meeting you. That's business. Oh, I can't believe the heart. Oh, I've put... 
That would have been great if I could have. You know that would have been. Apparently, Marin Week was having a bit of a poacher problem. I wonder if that's still the case. It's <laughs> Frona at the three brooms. It's It always seems to be. They always wait. I'm hoping the game will start clearing itself up. Yes! I can move! Take me! Take me to where I can take you. Well, hello. Good morning! I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. Oh, yes. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? Uh, sorry guys, there was a bit of a serious lag there. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> Lumos. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. Revelio. Interesting. I would like to see what this oh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, I get mounts! Uh, I think the game's really laggy. It's coming to the end of this gameplay anyways, guys, so... Okay, so we have combat, quest, explore... Okay. I seem to have Uh, yeah. There's a bit of a lag. I think it's because I left the game. Clever, isn't it? Well, Keep that. your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Oh, the snake's the ground. Oh, that's... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll come to the end of this gameplay anyway, so... I'll finish this and I think they'll be in. A nice little intro. Ah, good timing. 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. Central Hall. Let's see. Oh shit, it's a full on 3D map. Okay. Central Hall. What the. The great hall. Is this here? Uh, how do I move around? Is this the central? Nope. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Right. I see now. This is ah central hall. Oh, I can fast travel. I guess that does help. How big is the castle? Is it that big? I guess it is going to be quite big. Wow. That's a big T-Rex. What time is it? It's getting late. Yeah, I've noticed it's been getting a bit buggy. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark, and I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these... A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts uh... is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay, well I'm gonna leave it there because at this point the game's getting a bit laggy. So, okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. You did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Oh, well, shit. I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, oh, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. 
Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. Now we have arrived in Hogwarts. So anyway, guys, this was fun. This was a nice little experience. So, which I've been trying to say since the start of the gameplay. But this motherfucker—I mean, this gentleman who keeps rubbing his hands. I see. Okay, what the? F you start dancing. We're gonna have an issue. What the hell? 